we're now going to talk about how we find the domain of our combined functions. And the key here is to keep in mind that in order to be true, it has to be true for all of the functions. In order to be in the domain, the value of x has to make be in the domain of all of them. So what we're looking for is an intersection between the domain of one and the domain of the other, making sure that everything else works right. So we'll start with our individual pieces. f of x is x minus one. We'll remember that the square root of u is only defined if u is greater than or equal to zero. So for f of x, we get x minus one is greater than or equal to zero, x is greater than or equal to one, or we have from one to infinity. G of x, on the other hand, same thing, but we're going to do 3 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. So 3 is greater than or equal to x, and if we switch sides, x is less than or equal to 3, which goes from minus infinity to 3. So if we compare this on a graph, here's 0, here's 1. One of ours looks like this, 2, 3, and the other one looks like this, and the only place that they're both true is from 1 to 3. So our domain for f plus g of x is 1 to 3, the domain. The domain of f minus g of x is likewise, I should use an arrow, not an equal sign, but that's also 1 to 3, and the domain for f times g of x is also 1 to 3. The only one that takes any special consideration is f divided by g of x. Because remember, we can't have a 0 on the bottom. And so we go back to here, and we change it. Instead of being 3 minus x is greater than or equal to 0, it's got to be strictly greater than 0. It can't be equal to 0. So 3 is greater than x, or x is less than 3, which changes to a minus infinity to 3 with a parenthesis. So the domain of this one is from 1 to 3 with a parenthesis, and that should be a square bracket. There we go. So these three are square brackets for both with the square roots. This one's a parenthesis because the g being on the bottom takes priority to the square root domain. But that's how we find our domain. Find the individual pieces, and then find the end find their intersection.